and I just got this one about a year ago. So I've gotten my cosplay away. I could proudly say I've gotten my cosplay away for this bag <laughs> over and over. Now that I'm rotating my Ralph Lauren bag, it's already collecting dust. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, please do. Or at the very least, um, give me a like um, just so that next time you'll be able to find me. And if you don't find this particular video informative or exciting or entertaining, come back again. So the only way that you could find me is if you give me a like or if you subscribe. As you guys know on this channel, sustainability matters and we embrace imperfect sustainability. So I'll leave you some tips on how you could be imperfectly sustainable. That's how we do it on here, guys. So I really hope that if you are watching me for the first time please subscribe and this brings me to today's video guys so one of the reasons why i often advocate buying for your lifestyle it's because i know that you would get your cost per wear for the items that you buy when you're shopping one of my tips, as I've said to you before, there's no reason to go out there and look at people who have a whole wall of bags that rarely get utilized. And you would see the videos. The videos are out there to prove it. They will tell you what are their most used bags and their least used bags. The bags are just there. For you to get your cost wear, you absolutely have to know your lifestyle and how these bags fit into your lifestyle. This is not to say that don't buy bags for maybe a fantasy occasion. Maybe one that you could allow yourself that luxury to buy a bag for a fantasy occasion, but not a fantasy lifestyle. Because if you live in the countryside and you don't need a Gucci bag, you just need a tote, please buy a tote. This bag, I know that I wore this to death because I, I got this bag almost 10 or 12 years now. And it's the only bag I was wearing. So I've got my cost away over and over because I paid about $200 for this bag. Which brings me to this. I navigate between my country and here. And when I'm in my country, I'm a proud rural girl. I love my village. And I could navigate any part of my country because it's not big. From my location, I am able to wear all my pieces regardless of whether or not I'm in my village, in my country, or in Canada. Because my people in my country, as much as they're poor, they also like to get dressed up. And it's summer all year round. So they do often, in many instances, wear their clothes because they like to dress up. And at the same time, I know that this piece fits into my lifestyle pretty well. I wear this whenever I'm rushing out the door and I, I really don't have time for anything else than to grab stuff when I'm going to the post office because I have a Poshmark account and I'm often shipping stuff off and oftentimes I need a big bag. So it's either this one or this one, which is also my work bag or this one and i'm out the door so i know i could get my cost per wear eventually for some of these bags 
and any bag that is supposedly over 2,000, 3,000, you don't, you don't get your cost per wear. No. And this one, it's a, ah, it's a gorgeous piece. But who could tell me that if they pay 3,000 or 2,000 for this bag, that you're gonna get your cost per wear? Yeah. Tell me that in the next hundred years. This is one of the reasons why I get my cost per wear for this because I take it almost everywhere that I am running my errands. Another one that's close behind it is this. I also use this when I'm running errands, particularly if I need to ship something out again because this bag, it holds stuff. See? It even has a bunch of stuff in it. So, even when I'm going to the doctor, this is my go-to bag. I grab it, let's say any bodily samples, it's the perfect bag to place it in and I'm out the door. So I knew that when I bought these bags that they would really solve me well on an everyday basis. So the next bag that has become actually such a mule, oh my God, in my closet. It's been just working every single time I'm stepping out and I just have to run to go to the library or to the post office, the drugstore. I've been doing a lot of those runs lately and I'm on the bus, I'm busing it. So this is really one of those bags that it looks deceptively small, but it holds a multitude of things that you could just place in it. I love this. And you know, guys, this bag, it's not going anywhere. You could beat that out of it, but it's not going anywhere. I swear to God, this bag, it's like the Mike Tyson of its time because it is epi leather and epi leather has a way of just standing up to you. It could take its blows and my next emotional blow, I want to transform myself into an epi leather because yes, it could take it. And I'm beginning to get like it. Yeah, this is when, you know, the days when materials were really nice and strong and they didn't need to really stretch them beyond capacity, you know? These are sturdy stuff. So it's this Gucci. This is a million years old and it's taking so much beating. It went with me to St. Vincent and this bag, I just have new respect for it. It's on my Poshmark and sometimes I consider just removing it because it's, it's, it's such a great bag. But yeah, and right behind it is this. This bag I just, I just grab when I'm heading out the door, especially when I'm wearing a dress or denim. I like the look of this bag. It's just one of those bags that elevate an outfit without having to apologize for being cute. Yeah. And when you are this cute, why apologize? No, you need to work it. Cuteness is in your favor. Enjoy it while you can. And this is exactly what I'm doing. Really getting my way out of these. This one is another work bag because it could hold my laptop when I'm heading to work, my umbrella, my water bottle. Yes, it's another work horse in my closet. So I alternate between these two. I could wear this with anything, almost anything, 99% of my wardrobe, which is essentially what you want to keep in mind when you're buying a color and 
when you're buying a bag for longevity for your lifestyle don't be too influenced by what others have that's their lifestyle let them go with it you focus on your lifestyle and what would work for you focus on your classic what would work for you is your classic color green because mine is then do your thing and speaking of green this is another bag I take with me whenever I'm rushing out to also do shipping as well in fact I know that I'll be taking this bag out next because I have a belt that needs an extra hole and I need to go to my cobbler to have some stuff done to my shoes yeah the zipper got broken so I'm gonna take it to my cobbler and guys it could hold in here both boots could hold in here I'm telling you when I buy my bags I have my reasons and these are some of the things that I could tell you from experience works when you buy not only within your means but within the lifestyle that you have while you could have a couple other items that would work for your fantasy occasion you could have one or two of those items that's why I have that's why I have these this is a Gucci piece and this is a Dior piece because I do go to yearly galas or events where you need to be dressed up so that's my fantasy so so normally I have a series of videos on my channel which shows me dressing up as my fantasy self for Valentine's Day it's not only fantasy I do wear those clothes to my annual galas so yeah guys buy for your lifestyle and in that way that's how you are likely to get your costs per wear no outfit is complete without shoes and with all those bags and outfits my gucci pump oh this has been getting so much wear i wear this everywhere almost everywhere in everything with denim at work everywhere i go because the heel is very comfy and it's not like the the regular loafer while i've been getting somewhere out of this one as well this my gucci piece has been beating this because it looks stylish and it looks great this is not my most well worn yet oh you guys have seen this it's my ferragamo pumps as well i wear this to work and it's mainly for work especially when i'm wearing outfits like this It's really cute it really amplifies an outfit it really does I love it but it could give you a hammer time it could really make you want to scream for joy and pain and everything in between this shoe it's pretty but it just have you in one of those yeah positions that you don't like yeah cute but it gives me a hard time but I do wear it and gravitate towards it quite often the other shoe surprisingly it's my Chanel guys like when I purchased this shoe I was only gonna wear it like when I'm going out yeah like for dinner you know get-togethers that was my thought process but I I'm, I've been wearing it to work and you know why look at the heel it's really cute and so because it's a bit low-key nobody even knows that it's Chanel unless you look very closely and why 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 it's rude to stare at somebody that closely don't look at anybody's feet that 
closely unless you have some sort of fetish that I don't know about. But yeah, it's it's a it's a beautiful piece. It's really flattering and it looks really great on my skin tone. So I love it. Brown is my second favorite color. So my wardrobe comprises of a lot of this color of brown and of course yeah green and black i hope that you have learned something i hope that you have enjoyed this video and i love to see you in the next one so please come back please subscribe and i'll see you then love you and sometimes you just gotta believe there's something